guys, it's Natalie here, and welcome to my channel, Find Joy in the Journey. Today I'm over here in the Cabbage Patch, because this is going to be a big moment for me. This is the harvest of my first cabbage of the fall season. I'm having a bit of an early harvest on a lot of the brassicas because of the fact that I started early. Let's just say I could not wait to, for the end of summer gardening and to move into fall gardening. So I got a jump start on planting like my cabbages, my, my broccoli, collards, mustards, all of that. Um, I even have garlic that's growing right now. I'll give you a little look at that to show you how well my garlic is progressing. But I, I just couldn't wait. So that's why you see me harvesting things like broccoli and mustards and, and collard greens because of the fact that I started early with my planting. So, um, but today, I will be harvesting this cabbage right here. I have a bad habit of <laughs> pointing at things with my knife. But this cabbage, this is the largest cabbage head that I have in the cabbage patch. And it is time. It is big, it is beautiful, and it's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna harvest that. And I'm gonna let you guys witness the harvest. My first cabbage. Okay, you guys, let me get over there. I'm just gonna shuffle this little container around so I can get to it. Oh, all right, this should be good. Let's move this over a little bit. I have a, a metal rod over here that I definitely need to move before I get hurt. Okay, here I come, guys. All right. So these outer leaves, I can take these off so you can get a better look. But I just want you to see the size of this cabbage. It's a good size cabbage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's just go for it. Right here. Here it is, my first cabbage of the season. Got some of these outer leaves. You see how large the outer leaves are? So you can get a look at the actual head. All this, this can be cooked too. You don't get rid of those. That's not compost, that is food. But that is my cabbage. This variety is, I want to say, the Primo Vantage. And there she is. All right. I wasn't quite sure what I needed if I needed my um, my snips or the knife, so I just brought them both. <laughs> Make some room, but I'm gonna go ahead and harvest a few more mustards. I'm so used to using the snips, that's what I'm gonna use. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Florida body. Look, I highly suggest if you're gonna if you wanna grow mustards, this is uh, the perfect start. Florida uh, broadleaf mustard. As you can see, they have very large leaves and they taste great. Um, so they're easy to cook and you just get, you get more bang for your buck, put it that way, because you put a few little small seeds in the soil or in the ground and this is what you get back. This is my third or fourth time um, cutting, you know, harvesting from this, these uh, plants. They grow back so large. Do you see this? They grow right back. That's massive. <laughs> that is unreal. Look at that. And I want you to notice, take note, 
that there is not much insect damage. Okay? So when I tell you how much I do love growing a garden in the fall, this is why. Less insects to deal with. The weather is nicer. I'm out here right now. It feels so good. It feels it's perfect weather to be out in the garden. I hate to keep putting summer gardening down, but that was my first experience with it, dealing with a full-blown vegetable garden. I've gardened in the uh, summer before, but it was like ferns, ivies, uh, petunias, things like that. I've never dealt with a vegetable garden, something that needed to be tended to on a regular and uh, not just, you know, just you go out and you water your ferns and you water your ivies. I had to take special care of my vegetable garden. And it was, it was rough. It was really, really rough. I was all excited about uh, my first real summer garden. But once it hit in the 90 degree weather, mid 90s, 95, 98, you know, high 90s, uh -uh, this is Louisiana. <laughs> This is Louisiana, I'm sorry. And even though I am used to a warm climate, because I was born and raised here, it's no fun. We don't sit out in the heat. <laughs> we like to sit under our, our patio and, and sip iced tea <laughs> in the cool, right? Like every Southern girl likes to do, huh? <laughs> yes. Well, it's so much, boy. Like I told you, my sweet little basket I found, my sweet little uh, harvesting basket, look at this. It's absolutely adorable, but it doesn't hold much. <laughs> it's beautiful, but look, I tell you what, my harvest uh, for the, especially with these, the brassicas in, in this, they're so large, I need a bigger basket. Huh? I'm not complaining. I, look, that's called being blessed. <laughs> That's called being blessed, abundantly blessed. Okay, you see this, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to get up off my little seat here. I bet you wonder why I have an ottoman out in the garden. Well, it's a patio ottoman. It's weatherproof. It's weatherproof, it belongs outside. Plus, I sprayed it <laughs> with this uh, fabric treatment to make it even more weatherproof. Uh, so, sometimes, you know, I don't mind. Since it's for outside, I don't mind bringing it out in the garden area because sometimes my little back and my little knees, I need support, I need to sit down. I can't um, stand up like this crouched over too long. I need to move my bay oil just a little bit so I can get from this angle. This is incredible. Oh! This is incredible. No way. <laughs> oh, do you see this? Massive. All right. Oh, I got most of the larger leaves. Let's see. Here's one. And here's another. Okay. Let's get over here. I cause that's all I can fit in my basket. <laughs> Alright, you guys. That's it for today. I can't get any more in the basket. And the, the there's there's more. There's a few more I see that probably could be harvested, but I'll stop right here for now. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> oh, 
All right, you guys. Let's take a look at my harvest. I am so happy. Look at this. This is my, um, these are the outer leaves, but you can eat those too. These outer leaves can be cooked. They're just a little tougher, so you have to cook them a little longer. But this is the main cabbage head. Do you see the size of that? Oh, I'm so happy I can actually cry. <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased. Okay, let's just kind of swivel over here just a little bit so we can get a look at these uh, mustards. These are Florida broadleaf mustards. And just, just to show you a few of them, look at that. All of them are like, like this almost, look. And this one, this is out of this world. These are my mustards. Wow. All right, you guys, very quickly before I log off, I wanted you to see my, uh, my garlic. Here we are. This is my large garlic, not elephant garlic, but these are soft uh, neck garlic cloves that I planted here. Just uh, cl uh, garlic that I got from the grocery store. But I call them my large gar uh, garlic because these cloves were uh, pretty good sized garlic cloves. And the smaller garlic cloves I planted over here. So I just wanted to differentiate between the two uh, containers. So the smaller cloves are over here, and they are growing, as you can see. But even just looking at the, uh, the plant, you can see that they are much smaller than these. Okay. So I have that large container, and I have this grow bag. So that's my garlic. Looking good. Okay, you guys, this is my beefsteak tomato plant. Nice, huh? Finally, I'll be getting some tomatoes because I didn't get anything during the summertime. So this is, uh, this is wonderful to me to see my tomatoes growing so healthy. Tomatoes like the cooler temperatures, so that's why I'm having a, kind of an early fall tomato rush here. These are beef steaks. And I do believe, I was saying that this one wasn't a beefsteak plant, but I have a feeling it is a beefsteak. I thought it was a different variety of tomato, but I have a feeling that this one is also a beefsteak. Okay. But they're growing, so I am very pleased. I'm trying to let you see the tomatoes growing on here. while I'm out here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these shallots. These, these shallots, I take them inside and I wash them off and I put them in the dehydrator. I dehydrate them and I store them in this uh, mason jar. So until I'm ready to use them. So basically I'm just getting a lot of uh, herbs and things ready for the holidays. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up soon and also Christmas after that. But I'll have lots of uh, herbs and different vegetables ready. This is what I use as my seasoning. Shallots. I have green onion over there. I'm going to let the green onion grow a little bit more. It's not ready to be harvested, but these shallots, I can go ahead and get these inside, get those washed up and dehydrated. More mustards. This is a red variety Rust mustard I have over here. My collards are growing well. But for right now, the mustard greens that I just harvested and that cabbage, that's the star of the show. So that's it for today. I just wanted to give you a look at my cabbage harvest. I, you, you have no idea how pleased I am <laughs> to harvest that cabbage. That's the first of the season, my early fall harvest. 
So, I'm going to go ahead and get inside. It feels so nice out here. It's very pleasant weather right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. So, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye now.